Hey folks, Slicem here with Slicem Gaming and SG1 versus New In. They're currently sitting in sixth. We're currently sitting in third overall. War nine of season 46. Uh, so for us, this is a podium battle again. Last war was won, so we could get back to the podium. Uh, and here we are matching off with New In. Iron Man versus Bishop, Node 6, Combat Deja Vu, Insurance Policy, and Spiked Armor. Uh, I have fought Bishop fairly often this season. First time that I've seen him on Node 6, so um, it's a familiar fight. I've, I've taken this fight multiple times, just in a couple different ways. Different defenders on Node 6, and then on top of it, uh, a new node for Bishop. So I've, I've faced Bishop plenty, and I have faced Node 6 plenty, so I felt pretty safe walking into this matchup. Uh, gonna go ahead and get our boost on. On top of this, I went ahead and burned a uh, Power Start 1. You know, here's the deal. We had just made Podium, and at this point, you, you leave nothing to risk, right? It, it's anything that you can do to make sure you have any type of advantage as possible. So, um, starting with that Power Start 1 gives me the ability to get to an L2 pretty quick and make sure this fight just doesn't get out of hand. Um, so far, pretty basic fight. Um, this, again, has been kind of my theme this season. Control, control, control. Try to control everything that I can as much as possible. And uh, I feel like overall I've, I've done a good job of that. So again, this is a fairly basic and sadly boring fight. I mean, there's really nothing too exciting in this fight. Iron Man capable of blocking the specials. Uh, so I don't really have to worry about anything other than just don't make any silly, goofy mistakes. Uh, don't try too hard. Don't do anything you don't have to do. Uh, sometimes that's the thing that people forget inside war, and it, it, it causes you to die. Um, you know, don't do not do anything crazy. Just take your time. Be smart. As you can see, I'm eating a little chip damage here and there. The, the spike, I almost run into a special three there. Um, that was the only really bad moment. In that moment, I was kind of like, oh. But uh, it worked out, and at this moment, I felt real comfortable. And, of course, there's the kill. So uh, when, I, when I dodged that special three, that was the biggest part that I was kind of like, uh-oh. So as you can see, clean fight. Uh, again, nothing really special there. Uh, so I, I felt good about it, but again, it's a fight I felt good coming into. This one, Doom versus Null, Node 15. Uh, this is the first time I've seen Null on Node 15, and this is uh, a little bit different for me. Um, first time using Doom this season. Really, first time I've used Doom in quite some time, and you're going to be able to see that here in my play. Uh, aggression, uh, insurance policy, and critical setup. Again, Typically, we see Kitty Pride here, right? We've, we've seen many fights of Kitty Pride on this node. So my first time really seeing Null here, and as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of going through my boost like, do I need to change anything? Is it even worth changing anything? Uh, this is a pretty straightforward fight for, for Doom. Be smart, get into your Doom rotation, and, and just kind of play the fight. And early on, you can see I pretty well do that. Uh, this is just kind of basic play, nothing special going. Laying in a couple heavies, building my my special up, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, do I want to bait the L2 or an L1? I'd prefer go L2 here. Just make sure I don't do anything goofy and, and push power. And at this point, normally I would be fine dodging those, but uh, again, <laughs> knowing where we sit with what's on the line, I kind of played a little tight, and you're going to see where it messes me up here. Uh, get to my special three, and at this point I think to myself, okay, doom rotation. Like... From here, it's just typical Doom play, right? Like, we've done the hard part. And then I mess up the Doom rotation. Totally jacked it up. Um, <laughs> and then accidentally stole power, pushed him back to a special one. Um, literally everything that could go wrong, I I did wrong right there. Um, I literally played that as probably about as badly as you could. As you can see, I got reverse controls here. Luckily, I remember that as I dodge back. Um, and, and I was kind of hesitant. I, I was like, right, I'm just going to wait for these to fall off. And then I was like, well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this. Got another L1 to eat, but that's okay. Uh, and at this point, I was going to throw an L2. And I was like, crap, he's, he's dead. So combo out, save the animation. Um, <laughs> was not a good time fight. In terrible fight, really, all the way around. Uh, a good example of what not to do. Um, so, yeah. Iron Man vs. Havoc, Node 24. Uh, again, this is prowess buildup, band-aid specials, uh, superior specials. Um, yeah, again, we've seen this fight earlier this season. Last time I took this fight, uh, I think I've had APOC and I've had Sauron on here. Um, so 
it's kind of one of those things where we've, again, we've seen this fight, new defender, but still the same basic fight. Iron Man versus Mutants make this a very uh, basic fight this season. You simply block through your specials. Um, be smart, you know. As you'll see here, there's a couple times I'm able to dex out of the final hit of the special that I then use to be able to set myself up to be able to, to go right back into to punishing the special and that's over. Um, not that that's anything special, but it is something that I feel comfortable doing. That's also the thing that got me killed twice against an APOC boss. So um, just as safe as I make it sound sometimes, it's, it's one of those things that it may seem basic that when messed up can absolutely lead to a death. So... Yeah, <laughs> and so there we are, we're dexing the final hit of the special one. Slowly chipping away on Havoc, again, just wanting to keep this under control. That's, the, again, the big theme of this season for me has been control. We're controlling the fight little by little, get ourselves built up. There's a good L1. And then, again, waiting on him to take him, just get into a good spot. Thought I'd catch him, unfortunately nothing, bait the L1. You go right back to it. Nice 20k medium. So he's dead. At this point, we know he's dead. Intercept with an L1. Just because it looks good. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that for the ending there. All right. So after Havoc, uh, Teammate takes the next node for me, which would have been Scorpion. Uh, so we brought in a direct counter. And that brings me to APOC. Node 39. Prowess buildup, unblockable. Power snack, one too many hits. And again, um, Thanks to Iron Man, this becomes a pretty basic grind fight. Now, Power Snack does make this a little bit different. Uh, we have to be mindful of, of the power that we're going to feed Apocalypse. Um, because that, that will become a thing. Making sure we don't accidentally push him over too far. Or get into a spot where we don't feel comfortable uh, with, with the amount of specials coming. But at the end of the day, there, there was nothing new here that we haven't seen. And again, with Iron Man being the, the, the attacker, we know we can block the specials. Um, hopefully learning from the last time that we, we played Apocalypse, being a little bit smarter, simply holding the block, and again, controlling the fight. So here we go. Again, note 39, Apocalypse, Iron Man. And as you can see, starting out with a good parry. And from here, it's it's just a slugfest, right? Take our time, land the, land the blocks when we can, there's power sting, so do got to be mindful of the power sting. So the one other thing to keep in mind is in this fight, I know I have no other fights on the board. This is my last fight. So for me, the power sting, the, the little kickback damage for me isn't a big deal. Um, I wasn't too worried about it. Iron Man is pretty tanky, um, which makes it, makes it advantageous to be able to be a little more aggressive at times. And you're going to see a couple times there's power sting. I go ahead and throw my special. Um, I feel comfortable with the, the pace of the fight. So as long as I feel comfortable with it, I'm kind of pacing, I'm kind of watching. Uh, I'm able to, to gauge kind of where this fight's going and I feel comfortable enough to know, okay, as long as I can maintain this pace and I don't do anything really stupid, you know, we're in a good spot. So, and again, here we go. We got power sting. Gonna go ahead and throw the special anyway. Um, not too thrilled with the health gap here, 47, 60. Uh, but I, I still feel comfortable and I know to myself as long as I'm holding block I feel good and as you can see I was able to really take a chunk of health off of him right there able to dodge a little bit of the special damage nothing major and ending it with an L1 taking APOC to the ground and that's gonna give us another win so another good solid clean war for myself nothing special um, you know this is a, a very basic season as far as when it comes to what we're doing so or on my end so there's our victory screen. Congratulations, SGA1. Big win over New Inn. Um, they died 15 times. We died 12. We gave up a lot of deaths at the end. We probably shouldn't have given up. Uh, just kind of got sloppy, but it's still a big win for us. Due to the way the rest of the wars played out, we was actually able to jump up from 3 to 2. So currently second, currently setting second overall, which is super exciting, and, and we're, we're happy to be there. Now we've got three wars remaining to protect that spot. So hopefully we can do that, finish the season out strong, and have a really good season. So as always, thanks for watching the video. Take care, have fun, and as always, keep on gaming. Adios.